And this Golf University tip from the pro, I'm with Craig Stickling at Yarrawonga Mawela Golf Club Resort, where he's gonna teach us the best setup and technique when it comes to our pitching. But before we start, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon below so that I can notify you every time a new lesson is released. Plus at the end of this video, I'm gonna teach you how to lose four shots or more from your handicap in three months or less. But before I do, let's find out the best setup and technique when it comes to our pitching. This tip from the pro brought to you by Golf University, the world's premier golf improvement program. So today we're gonna to talk about the basic fundamentals of the pitch shot. Very important that you use a few basic principles to make sure that perfect pitch shot is in your arsenal. What we're gonna start off today is Fraser's gonna hit a few pitch shots for us. And while he's doing that, we're gonna look at a few fundamentals. The first thing that we're gonna look at, when he addresses the ball, You'll see the ball position is a bit further back in the stands. The reason why with a pitch shot, we want to make sure that we come down on the ball with a descending blow. We don't want to be too steep or too shallow, but because of the ball position a bit further back, that will assist us to get the club into the ball as soon as possible to make that perfect contact. And obviously that will create spin on the ball as well. The next thing that we're going to focus on is something that I see a lot of amateurs do. When they take the club back, there's a lot of moving parts in the body. When it comes to pitching, it's very important to understand all the distance control happens in the shoulders and the upper body dominates when it comes to pitching, almost similar to putting. So when we look at this here, something like that is not what we wanna see. If we have the club down and it works as a unit back, one unit back and one unit through, that's a perfect pitch action. So the whole upper body works nicely together on the way back and on the way through with nice rhythm. And if you have a look at his follow through, which is quite important, you'll see the club is in front of him. The backside of the grip points to his belly button and the upper body is square to the target. A lot of the times we see people with a pitch shot or a chip shot even, they finish very high with a club pointing to the sky. As soon as you break your angle on the left wrist, you're in deep trouble. So we wanna try and keep the whole body, upper body, on the same path back, same path through, with the same rhythm, and keep the upper body as one unit. So one unit back, one unit through, and we've got the ball position a bit further back. Let's see what Fraser can do. Beautiful pitch shot. Well, if you can do those a few principles, you'll get a perfect pitch shot. Well, there it is. I hope you enjoyed this Golf University tip from the pro. Remember to ask a question in the comments below if you need even more help. And feel free to share this video with your golfing friends. As promised earlier, I want to help you easily and effortlessly lower your handicap by four shots or more. So I want to invite you to join our Search for Scratch program which has been designed to help you find out how good a golfer you can become if you are trained with the best coaching model, practice plan and course management system, all whilst developing a champion golfer's mindset. For more information and to become another one of our success stories, visit searchforscratch.tv forward slash search for scratch program or click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, commenting and sharing this video guys. I look forward to supporting your golf improvement in the Search for Scratch program.